So my beautiful people, I am back with another Dying Light 2 video and it's been a while guys. But today the update 1.03 has landed and today guys I cover all you need to know which arrives with this update. How's it going guys? If you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so Dying Light 2 is a game I haven't played in a while, kind of went dry for me. But I know it still has quite a popular fan base. Uh, but today we saw the update of 1.03 land. Uh, and today, guys, I bring you everything you need to know about said update, including New Game Plus. So let's get into it and starting with New Game Plus. After finishing it once, the game can be played or replayed again. Only this time with modified game parameters in place to encourage a second playthrough. By the implementation of a unique system and experience, the player can now go through the story with revitalized mechanisms. These include new enemy behaviors, more difficult encounters, new objects within the world, namely, and newly added inhibitors, and many more changes that will significantly alter the gameplay style and allow the player to develop their character further. All of this is only available in New Game Plus. So we get 30 plus new inhibitors, new platinum objectives for parkour challenges, updated distribution of the enemies, basically volatiles and banshees spawn during the night, a wider variety of enemy pools and encounters. A new legendary weapon tier has been added. Gold encounters added enemy difficulty scales with the player. So sounds pretty cool. I might just jump back on guys and see what it's all about. Now we also have co-op updates. These from what I've quickly ran through seem like a lot of fixes. Okay, so fixed connection and stability issues in co-op. Fixed connection issues with a player who are further advanced in the story. Improve game performance in co-op. Co-op story blocks. Man, there's really still co-op story blocks in the game? Wow. Fix an issue that caused block progression in a single player game mode after a co-op session. Fix a few remaining death loops in co-op. Fix an issue with a missing NPC during a missing people quest in co-op session. Co-op quality. Improved weapon visualization in online menu and inventory. Improved handling of challenge requirements in co-op. Fix random bandit respawns while players are still in the bandit camp. Fixed issues with the player being unable to access inventory or map after dying several times in co-op. Fixed block story progression with enemies nearby notification. Fixed rare issue when a player can't move after a revive. Fixes for faraway peer respawn uh, from the host and respawning in geometry. Fixed AI jitter in random cases. Improve various animations in co-op, uh, crouching, throwing, using the bow and more. Fix the sound duplication in co-op. Fix rare cases of unresponsive quest radio dialogue in co-op, causing story blocks. Fix the display of incorrect icons on the map after co-op party. Fix call for help when the player is being summoned during a gather in co-op. Fix black screens in certain situations that could cause progression blockers during co-op progression. Fix unnecessary skill requirement text glitch in the description of a challenge in a co-op session. Updated the time of tutorial windows to 30 seconds during co-op sessions and fix a bug that allows players to have multiple story quests active. Content update mutated infected new quest added something big has been here which included a special elemental goon variants pretty cool and gameplay updates guys enemies with balls are less annoying decreased damage output completed achievements are correctly awarded upon completion this works for the achievements that were obtained before the update as well fixed a bug that was causing howlers and screamers to become invulnerable to damage Fixed a possibility to fast travel between map regions after completing various quests. Fixed a random AI bug of human encounters. Fixed infective invulnerability to arrows. Fixed a missing reward after bandit encounters. Fixed the viral's patrol movement in GRE facilities. Grappling hook tweaked pool limitations. Longer swings will reset the vertical pool values. Uh, pools have a bigger first value. Quest updates. Fixed a bug related to wall clipping during the Let's Waltz quest. Fixed a bug of the player getting stuck after using an inhibitor or opening inventory after obtaining inhibitor in the markers of plague quest. Fixed the map display bug in the only way out quest. Fixed the disappearance of Hakon in the Into the Darkness quest after playing co-op. Fixed Sophie's inaccessible position in the raid quest. 
And yet remaining guys are UI and UX updates and technical updates which you can see on screen now if you do want to read them. But yeah guys, quite a big patch to be honest. I mean I haven't played the game in quite a while. I'm surprised some of the issues they are fixing in here are still issues in the game considering it's probably been two or three months since I played this game. Uh, but at least they're finally adding new game plus into the game and also dropping that legendary weapon variant into the game too which should be pretty cool i made us jump back on guys and bring you guys a few videos here and there we will see but there we have it guys quite a big actually the biggest dying light 2 update since release guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people i will see you on that next one